Hey, what's up guys? Kellen here with Droid Life, and we're taking a look at one of the coolest features of the Nexus 6. You can see it lighting up there. This is called Ambient Display. Now, if you've used a Moto X from either last year or this year, you're, you're familiar with how this works. Uh, so Motorola created this idea called Moto Display. It used to be called uh, Active Display. Uh, basically, what they're doing is they take an AMOLED panel, and rather than using a notification LED light to show you, you have information uh, coming through on your phone, they use the display. So with an AMOLED panel, they're lighting up select pixels. So um, they're showing you information without using a bunch of battery um, or lighting up the whole display, which would, in theory, kill off your battery pretty quickly. So when a notification rolls in, the display lights up only in select areas, shows you information, or the clock or something like that. Now, Motorola is allowing you to wave your hand over the device and the, it will light up or pull it out of your pocket or do some different things. Uh, Google isn't doing exactly that. Um, this is a little more trimmed down version. Again, they're calling it ambient display, uh, but it's still very cool. And it does some things, or at least one thing better than what Motorola is doing. And so we'll sort of talk about that. But you can see it's kind of strobing in there, there in the background. As emails and notifications are coming in, it's definitely telling me that things are going on, which is kind of cool. And you can just see it rearranged. Um, some notifications that are on my lock screen based on priority, I would imagine. Uh, so to, to interact with this one, you pick it up. And when you pick it up, it turns on the clock and then it shows you your notifications. So Moto, Motorola's Moto display um, acts as a clock and then there's sort of a ring in the middle that shows you three notifications you can kind of swipe around. With Google's version of uh, ambient display, basically all they're doing is turning your lock screen black and white. And so when you interact with it, it doesn't look any different than your normal lock screen. It's just black and white with some text on there. And I'll show you what I mean by that. When you, when you start interacting with it, it immediately just turns on into color. It's very cool. So if we pick it up and uh, I just touch this first one, you can see, um, I didn't mean to long press on that, but you can see that it immediately lit up into where I was. So I'm going to lock that and we'll try to do this again. And it doesn't do this perfectly every time, but it's pretty good for the most part. So you can see I've got one here and I can just kind of drag down and it just, it's, it's like you're interacting with it, even though it's in black and white. Um, so we'll try that one more time and see if we can get this to focus here. So you pick it up and it comes on I promise this works usually. So you pick it up and it comes on and I just kind of grab an item and start interacting with it. And so it goes from black and white to full color pretty quickly. And then, you know, you can interact with things from there. It, it's very cool. And so what I mean by what I like about this a little bit better, especially with Lollipop, is you interact with something and then it takes you into your full notification. Whereas with Moto's display, you kind of have a couple of swipe gestures, left, right, up or down. And that's sort of what you're stuck with. Um, but this, you kind of just touch something and it lights up and you don't have to like lift your finger to touch again. You basically just touch it once and it lights up the whole display and then takes you into sort of whatever you want to get into. Um, and so it's, it's very cool. And then it just leaves you sort of in your lock screen, uh, notification settings, which is a new thing in, in lollipop where you can get full interaction with your lock screen notifications. And so it's very cool. So again, this is called ambient display and it, it's, it's an option you turn on, which I'll show you in a second. But basically, when you pick up your phone, it's supposed to show you the time and some recent notifications that you can jump into. And so it's, it's just cool how that whole thing works, where it lights up, and once you touch it, then it goes boom into full color. But there's no hiccup or misstep. You don't have to you know, touch it again to make the colors light up or get your response going. It's, it's very cool. Google's done a really nice job with it. Um, to access it, you're in settings, display, and then here is an option for ambient display and you just toggle that off or on and uh, that's pretty much it. So more Nexus 6 stuff coming, but we just want to show you ambient display since it's a brand new feature in Lollipop that currently only works on the Nexus 6. More coming, we're Droid Life. Peace.